All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. Uh, we are playing Grixis Discard. Yep, only four Nicol Bolas. That's all we're playing. Um, thought about playing a fifth, but I think just four is probably good enough. <laughs> um, so uh, another question, Big Loop, who says, what is this version's strength compared to other Grixis's? I think this, this version is... Uh, pretty good against aggro with having two golden demise and three ritual of soot in the main deck and um we're also just good we're pretty good against uh golgari i think i think against golgari you can't really afford to have a bunch of counter spells in your deck because you you just don't have time to like hold up the counter magic because you have to be answering all the things that they're playing all the time and so we don't have like basically the other versions like other versions with counter magic i would I would lose to Golgari more. And so I, I want to just be able to affect the battlefield uh, when you're playing things like Thought Erasure, Disinformation Campaign. Uh, you know, we're not affecting the battlefield. And so I want to be able to catch up. So I want to have a good amount of sweepers in the deck there. Um, so that's what we got going on here. Also have a couple Star of Extinctions for that, for that other matchup. And we have another Golden Demise and another Ritual of Soot in the sideboard for aggro so i think this grixis deck is is pretty decent against aggro with like these sweepers and everything and i think it's pretty decent against control because you know you get discard spells um and campaigns and thought erasures and of course in the sideboard you have duresses and the gates stuff like that in the sideboard at thief sandy so i like this deck quite a bit all right let's try it out Grixis discard. Oh, I need to get the deckless command going. On a stream decker for y'all. So we're gonna upload this deck list. Grixis discard. All right, let me see if this if this works. If I do deck list. All right, it goes to this, which is not that. So yeah, I thought so. So yeah, we'll we'll just manually manually set it. All right, so now it's changed. Should be good to go now. Um, we're going first. We only have two lands, but Thought Erasure should be able to help us hit another land drop. We got 26 in the deck, so... You should brew something with Thud, the new 1-1 one -one that becomes twice the power of another creature in your deck, and Imperial Great Worm Galta. That sounds like an against the odds, for sure. Alright, we got Phoenix, Binding... Dawnbringer. I think Binding's going to be my card to take. I'll have to find something for Dawnbringer. I got I got Soot for History. I got Coil for Phoenix. We'll have to find something for Dawnbringer. The Thought Erasure, Search for Escantas, and Discoveries all, all help you get that other extra black source you need. Um, so we have... Alright, yeah, they're not playing Dawnbringer next turn, so we're just going to get Nicol Bolas in play. And then and then if they, if they play Phoenix, I can go Coil plus Thought Erasure and so on. But yeah, you have... So that's, what, 3, 4, 5, 11, uh, 9. So that's like 9 cards you can play on turn 2 that help you um that help you find another black source on turn three so i want this swamp here next turn 
No. So we're taking a hit for nine from these, uh, from the tokens and from Legion War Boss, assuming they play Legion War Boss. We'll take a hit for nine, but then we get to clean up the battlefield. That's really annoying. That's a good draw. All right, we've got to try to find another lava coil or contempt. Yeah, the lava coil bug. So I could have Nicol Bolas block Phoenix, and then they make a token, and then I Ritual of Sit away the board. So I can basically just Ritual of Sit away the board. Um, which I guess I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I know I, I could have done that, but I wanted to, to take another turn to, to try to draw something. Instead, I didn't want to do it right away. I, like, I think we could... we could. I, I think taking the first hit for four was perfectly fine. But I didn't want to take another hit there. I don't think our opponent's going to have main deck Bane Fire, but who knows. Don't really want to just pay life too much. You know, I could have paid two life to surveil. Which I guess maybe next turn I'm I may be a little more desperate next turn. Alright, Sponge Pedro. Your favorite deck on the list. Here you go. Any advice for an, an important for a new player going into best of three? Um, it's really not not much different from best of one. It's honestly not. There's not. It's not. Doesn't really change life too much. Basically, looking for contempt and nothing else.
I shouldn't have blocked. We'd have been perfectly fine if I didn't block. We've drawn it. We've been drawing Nicol Bolas, which would have just gone alongside the Doom Whisperer just fine. That was a bad block. That was not a good block. All right, down a game. What are we gonna do? I don't want duress. Or sorry, I don't want golden demise. Sorry, I don't want golden demise. Um, hmm. So playing war boss. Guess they're playing war boss to go along with. They probably have a Danto Vanguard also with War Boss and History. Hey, Mr. Previously. Can I block Flipped Legion's Landing? <laughs> Beating a Flipped Legion's Landing was so far down on my priority list. If I'm getting attacked by three. First of all, like, they have, you know, they don't have Legion's Landing at all. Second of all, I don't know how they're getting more, like, three creatures to attack me. Yeah, beating a Flipped Legion's Landing was just so, so far down on my priority list. It's unbelievably low. I mean, yeah. Doom Whisper is a 6-6. Six, six. It, it, it would kill them quickly. Anyway, I think I do... All right, so I guess we do want Golden Demise. All right, all right. What are we doing, though, actually? Uh, I guess trimming soot. Yeah, I guess I want demise over soot. I'm not going to really change too much. I'm just going to put in an extra demise take out of soot. Oh, yeah, the treasure map. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, the, the treasure map was going to be tough. The treasure map was going to be tough. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, that was a treasure map there. You can you can st still use a mythic wild card to get a nexus of fate. That's that's how you get nexus of fates on here is just using a mythic wild card. Can't beat Donophobe. I don't really. I mean, I have Spyglass in my sideboard for that. I'll save the gold the mines for like if we need to like double spell. Um, not good against binding, but if they have like tribunal or coil, like we've seen them have like lava coil, you know, they have something like that for one bolus, I have another bolus. Bolus is, you know, of course, just a great card for us, but it's it's really bad keeping another one of its Ixalan's binding. Which of course opponent has Ixalan's binding. Making him discard Phoenix. Hmm. All right, so Johnny can bring back Knight of Grace. I am proud to fight by your side. You can still fight. Just gonna, just gonna coil Knight of Grace. I guess so. 
This is not going so well for us. Yeah, that, that Ixalan's binding. Just a killer. Just a killer. Even if, I, even if I find Dispersal, they can just Strength bounce the one on the Searcherous Kanta, or bounce the one on the Ajani. Or they could just bounce Ajani. Thanks, Dusky. Glad you enjoyed it. I will lend you my strength. Yep, Ixalan's binding sure getting us. Be strong. Oh yeah, love cleansing Nova right now, right? Now binding's just a, a you know a real difficult card for my deck to deal with. It's not looking good. Deliver us to Five, victory. six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to one. All right, binding got us. Got us good. Thanks, Gorm. Yeah, glad y'all liked the the grading of the you know my my set review there in for Ravnica Allegiance. If you haven't checked out my set review yet, we went through all the cards, went through each color, um, and gave it a grade for standard. Um, and you can find that, of course, on my YouTube channel, YouTube.com/c/toddstevensmtg. All right, new game, new game. Hey, Zerf is a tier 3 sub yet again. Glad to be along for the ride. You are such a wonderful person, Zerf. Thank you so much. Gets so many hype outs for that. Okay. We're going to hope we can ritual of sit away some creatures instead of just using the lava coil right now. Yeah, if an F card becomes the most played card in the format. Could happen. Alright, nine subs on the day. I want to craft a new deck, but I guess I'll have to wait for the new expansion. Yeah, it's just not that long away. It's just probably the best to wait. The power level, I think it's I think the power level is certainly strong. Gosh, there's just no lands here. Search and Thought Erasure are such good cards. Hmm. We're going to keep this three lander and not hit our fourth land. Um. I think it's similar to Guilds of Ravnica, but maybe not as strong as Guilds of Ravnica but close to that power level. Um, yeah, I think it's closer to guilds than any of the other sets. I should have kept Ascanta. So, Holy Avatar, you think that next turn, I should just play Ascanta the next turn and, you know, hope they don't just play a Vivian that kills my Ascanta. And then the following turn... You know, use the Ascanta if it's still alive to to maybe find another land for Ritual of Sit then while I'm taking these hits. The big the big problem is just simply simply like Vivian. You know, like this is just not the time to be playing Ascanta. As we play it this turn, they have five mana for Vivian. It's just it's kind of too late to be playing it right now.
All right, so we hit our land, though. We got to Ritual of Soot, so they don't get to Vivian. Looks like they got Find Finality, um, which is okay for us. We get to Thought Erasure the Carnage Tyrant out of there. And then we can Coil Branch Walker. Multiple Carnage Tyrants. And a Contempt. Is it possible to be better to take the Contempt? No. Nickel Bulls does make them discard some card. Just kind of nice of attacking their hand to make it harder for them to play this Carnage Tyrant. That's a terrible draw for us. That's that makes my Nickel Bulls so bad. That was a that was like the worst draw, and them just getting to draw two lands. Uh, that was horrible. Now this Nickel Bulls doesn't do anything. Wow. That was really bad. I wish I would have got rid of that Nicol Bolas. Definitely wish we would have got rid of Nicol Bolas now. Yeah, they, game one, seeing they've seen three Carnage Tyrants game one. And, you know, 15 cards. I saw three Carnage Tyrants. That's certainly annoying. Yeah, I mean, we have Detection Tower in our deck somewhere. And Doom Whisperer can block Carnage Tyrant. And we have Dispersals that make them, if we get rid of their hand, Dispersal bounces it and makes them discard it. And we have a lot of Thought Erasures and Campaigns that are supposed to be dealing with the Tyrants also. I don't even think that keeping the Nicol Bolas was necessarily the right play, because it just do doesn't line up well against Carnage Tyrant. I wish my opponent would use Contempt on it. I would Contempt, contempt it so I could have Doom Whisperer for the Carnage Tyrant, but they're just not doing that. Why don't I shock in Doom Whisperer? Because they just, they'll just Contempt Doom Whisperer, and then I just, and then the Carnage Tyrant's lethal because I'm at 9. So shocking puts me down to seven, and Carnage Tyrant, Carnage Tyrant being lethal then is no bueno. Yeah, we would have lost basically on the spot if we would have shocked in for Doom Whisper. very close to being dead but the, yeah I mean we're at four because we didn't pay two life and we also gained two life like that the four life that we didn't pay and that we gained that's that's our life total so we had a we had a chance there at least to draw an answer to carnage tyrant but we didn't so we had to play the whisper um all right, we don't do a whole lot for this matchup. Just bringing in Spyglass, Star, Star, Cutting, Demise, Demise, and Grath. No, Nikki B. Get in Grath back. There we go. Spyglass, of course, is for Vivian. 
Yep, we need those Star of Extinctions. Got to make those Carnage Tyrants extinct. This may be a quick league. Already 0 and 1. Maybe 0 and 2. Which, that of course happens. Uh, we talked about that before with um, decks I think are pretty good that sometimes we just go 0 2 with them. You know, it's just a real small sample of two matches. You can certainly lose two matches in a row with any deck. So. You shouldn't be too upset if you go 0-2 with whatever deck you play. How good is Angrath compared to other Planeswalkers? Um, it's not it's not as good as a lot of other 5-mana Planeswalkers in the format. You know, like, comparing it to, like, Teferi and Vivian. Uh, those cards are much better than Angrath. But Angrath works well with Disinformation, disinformation Campaign in particular. And Thought Erasure, keeping the opponent's hand lessened. Duress, Reborn, Ranger. I kind of want to just take Ranger, but no. I should take Duress. Both of these cards in my hand have a, a positive impact. Yeah, we'll see how Angrath fits in with the the um, Rakdos decks. It may be kind of too expensive at five mana. I think it does work. It works really well with Theater of Horrors, I think, um, and like a, a slower deck. But our opponent's Daylight Ranger just making them draw two cards is the worst for us. We want the Jaylight Ranger to get counters. It's easy to kill the creature. We don't want that to just get free cards. Good news, though, is they, they don't have anything in their hand right now. They have three lands, a fine finality that doesn't do anything, and then whatever card they drew. Ever seen water burn your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. But yeah, Angrath's probably going to go up like as an easy, easy way to turn on spectacle kind of thing. Like it's probably going to go up and play um, with the new format. I did kind of just give him that. I wasn't necessarily expecting them to just use the fine for just the Jaylight no Ranger, fire, but they, they no you know, that was their only card in hand. I did just kind of give him that. All right, so we're gonna have to contempt. We, yeah, we have to con contempt the ranger so that it doesn't kill Angrath. Yeah, that was that was probably just a bad, bad play on my part. I mean, it, it certainly was. Not probably. It certainly was. I should have just, like, the minusing to kill the J-Light. I should have just kept ticking up with the J-Light only being a 2-1. Yeah, Angrath is a really good design for a Planeswalker. It's not only, like, a, a Minotaur pir pirate or anything, but, yeah, it's not... It's not like too too good. It's it's a really good design. Um, I think it's a, a well designed planeswalker. No fire, no steel. We'll see what they want to use this assassin's trophy on. I assume it would be. So it'd be, I would assume it would be Angrath, but we'll see. I don't want Nicol Bolas dying to the trophy, so I'll just 
past the turn here. They're going to have to use the trophy next turn, because I guess if they keep, keep like, a land in their hand and they discard a Tangrath, they may not need to. Jund will... Jund certainly has um, a ton of good cards. I would be surprised if Jun is not a big player in the metagame. It has... There are... Are just so many good cards and not like I mean we know just black green already has just a ridiculous amount of good cards um, add Jun to that you're only adding more you know add red to that you're only adding more good cards so <laughs> not ex I mean I think Arcades will at least be a deck people can can play, but I don't expect it to be very good. I think it will be like, you know, like current Mur like Merfolk in the current standard it will be like Arcades in the next standard. Hmm. I'll keep this the same. Yep. Yeah, if an opponent sacks the Brontodon to, to kill your disinformation campaign and you surveil in response, then yeah, you'll save your campaign. Uh, you, of course, do need instant speed surveil then for that, and Doom Whisper is one of the few cards that could provide that. But yeah, that's sweet. What do you think of Demir Control? Not a big fan of it. I think I think Demir gets better when you add another color. Like I like Grixis a lot more than just Demir. Um, I think when you're playing Demir, you want a card that's like I think. Not playing a card like Nicol Bolas or Lava Coil doesn't make your deck better. And I don't think the mana is too terribly bad for it. And yeah, I think it's just better just to play three colors. So even though we didn't have black mana before, because of Discovery, I was kind of feeling like we could get to black mana. two black sources out of the gate. Take this Jade Light Ranger. They have find, find. Hmm. I do need a fifth land. But we're likely to draw a fifth land anyway. I'm going to go ahead and, and just get rid of that land. Uh, between our draw step, campaign... Ah, they they drew cemeteries. They got to play Reaper. That's unfortunate. Certainly would have liked them to just have to like basically use, take a turn off of finding. Wow, they discarded the land. I would have discarded the second find finality there. Uh, I don't think there's any enchantment removal for this deck in the next set. Not any that I can recall. These, this color combination doesn't normally get enchantment removal. All right. No, certainly not casting Ritual of Soot here. Uh, I could find a Lava Coil. There we go, there's a Lava Coil. And I think I want Search for to the next turn. Yep, 
Yeah, they gave us that ramp. All right, so here comes... Now they're going to find back Jade Light Ranger, it looks like. Jade Light's the only card in their graveyard. Um, because we got to exile the other one. Oh, yeah. Dive down with Arcades. That's... That's a good combo. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. That's a good combo. Alright, I wonder what their other card is. They kept it over Fine Finality. Dang it, Brass is Contempt. No fire, no steel. At least we're gonna take out their hand. That's why I like all this this hand disruption. Why were all of my black sources tapped there, deck? Because it does make it a lot harder for them to cast Carnage Tyrant when they don't have the mana. And we'll have them Contempt Angrath, and then play Nicol Bolas. Yeah, you can you can use Ral instead, or I think maybe even Eldest Reborn would be better to use over Ral. Um, but yeah, either of those, Eldest Reborn or Ral. Um, it's it's definitely possible the Angrath should just be Eldest Reborns. Um, I like I like Angrath over Ral though, but it's I could see Eldest Reborns could be there. Okay, we are two mana short of playing Bolas and flipping it. I think, yeah. Let's just let's just activate Escanta to start with. I think just activating Escanta a bunch is probably good for us. Um, and at this point, I'll just use my Ritual of Soot and kill this Jade Light Ranger with that. Like we have the mana here that we can just activate our Azkanta every single turn and just continually gain more cards. Don't even mind getting lands here because lands will be able to help us play more spells. We could Star of Extinction and blow up one of those four lands also if we wanted to. All right, one and one, not O2. Not O2. It was looking bad after the first game, but we came back and got the sideboard games there. Um, our opponent's hand was not very good either. Of those games they had just a lot of fine finalities that didn't really do anything. What do you think about Tilanali's Summoner plus Rhythm of the Wild? Doesn't Rhythm of the Wild only give your non-token creatures riot? I think I think that's the case for one. And two, Tilanali Summoner, while it's a fun card to play, is just not very good. is very vulnerable. Dang it, I want to play Steam Vents. I thought I was playing Steam Vents. It just kind of lagged a little bit there. 
and just like a three mana one one and then you have to pump a bunch of other mana into it it's just not very good for standard judith uh judith is whenever any creature dies you get a trigger i think I guess it's two mana, one one. Yeah, but the spending the extra mana on it and everything. Yeah. Oh, uh, LQX. Oh, I I like the entry fee and payouts for the traditional events. I think they're pretty good. Lumbers, what are you so upset about? Yeah, I guess MTG bot doesn't have the cards up yet. land it's it's just the worst land we could get here what is a land i need ritual of soot so we need a black source that's better than nothing we can see what the other card would have been if i would have ditched it ah we would have got dragon skull some of that's a good land so next turn we can rich ritual of soot and kill both these enigma drakes and hope we're not dead oh yeah i understand having the cold so you're cranky yeah i didn't stream yesterday I wasn't feeling the best um Wow. That discovery put two cards, a shock and a dive down, both into the graveyard. That's a really efficient for our opponent there. Let's keep this contempt. Um for a crackling drake or something else. All right, well, you got me. No, I'm I won't be working for SCG ever again. Do I want negates or duresses? I don't want golden demise. Do I want negates or duresses? Yeah, four dis disinformation campaigns are a lot, but they are very good. And that's why I have all of them. I think I do. I think we're putting four negates and cut the angraths and go with this. Thanks, Nubja. You can find my playlist right here. Hmm. All right, we'll keep this. We got a hand. It has Searcher's Cant in it. Yeah, I don't hate cutting Soot for Duress, and I think, and that's something like on the draw, I. I want to do more um, also, so if we go to a game three, you know, Ritual Set on the draw is a whole lot worse, but, you know, I, I like just having more removal spells for their threats, you know, if we're, like, even though the Soots only kill Enigma Drakes, I want to have more. My search for Scans of Getting Countered there is likely going to cost me in this game. That was a 
a wonderful spell pierce for the opponent. Alright, and yep, fire off that sit while it does something. Love to draw another search for his Kanta. Hmm. I don't have an answer to dive down. Contempt does give me past spell peers. Or like that that land drop does give me like so I could pay for a spell peers. I think I just kinda do this on their end step. Should have done upkeep last time too. I think upkeep's better in this scenario. I just let them opt and chart a course and draw a lot of cards. I don't think Dispersal is really a very good play because they just get to play their Crackling Drake again and draw a card. So I don't think that's a winning play for us at all. I don't, I don't win the long game, like at all. Crackling Drake replaces itself and they have a treasure map. I don't win the long game in the slightest. They have five cards. <laughs> Ooh, a battle. I'm all tingly. They have oh, basically just as much card advantage in their deck. As I do, maybe more. I need I need like campaigns and thought erasures early. Um, without those, like, really, like, what well, we we lost this game because the the counter spell and the, the searcher is canceled. Like that's that's why we lost that game. That counter spell on searcher is as canta just completely wrecked us. The spell pierce there. All right, one and two. Spell pierce got us. Game one and game two. Spell, they had Spell Pierce for the Ritual of Soot. Game one and then Spell Pierce for the Escanta. Game two. All right, Profane Procession. That's a good card. That's a good card. I don't think I had four of those, so that's a good rare there. All right, so our um, we didn't have the 
best of leagues there. Where is Grixis discard? But I still like our deck quite a bit. Um, yeah, it just didn't go too well for us. I think probably that last match, I probably should have had I probably should have had Duress in my deck also, and the third Search for Iskanta. I think that, that kind of matchup, I think that Search for Iskanta is really important. I think I should have boarded in the, the third Search for Iskanta. Um, and, uh, and probably the Duresses as well. There, just try to fight the dive downs and spell pierces and stuff like that with my own cheap spells. So, I'm going to be doing limited Streak Almighty on the 17th. Okay, so if you're watching on YouTube, of course, thank you so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you for the next video.